Hello friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick video for you on these Golden Pothos cuttings that I have had in water for about two months and I think it's time to get them potted up. What do you think? So stay tuned. Okay, so I've had these three cuttings of golden pothos in this little vase here for a couple of months now. I think actually one a little bit longer than the others, but I think it's time to plant them up. I would just simply replenish the water on this when it evaporated, make sure it had clean water, and they did so well. One thing about pothos, especially the golden pothos, is that they are so, so easy to propagate. Look at these roots. I mean, just so easy. So when I uh, cut these, these are from my main mother plant that I have on my um, front living room window. Um, it has a totem pole on there and I've been having to cut the ends off because it was just getting so long. I was having trouble wrapping it around the uh, totem pole. Uh, the moss pole rather, excuse me, um, and these are the trails off of it. They've done so well in the water that it's actually opened up new leaves while it's been in the water. So I could easily leave these in longer uh, in the water for months. I know people have even years have left them in water and they do well. Um, but I had cut these specifically to plant in another pot that I had some other cuttings from this same plant, but I wanted some trails to um, go up the macrame hanger that it's on. I, I want to style it going up the macrame hanger. This is a macrame hanger that is on a wall, not hanging uh, off a pole or anything like that. And I wanted to design it or style it rather with these trails going up. It's this pot right here. These are actually cuttings from that same mother plant. So they're sisters and brothers and it's doing really well, but um, I wanted to get some more height on this to style it going up that macrame hanger. So, um, I'm going to get these potted up real quick and then I've got some other cuttings that I'm going to show you from uh, some Wandering Jew and a Purple Heart that um, I've been growing in propagation also. So let me show you those before I get those potted up too. Okay, I have this cutting here that's ready to be potted up. This, I have my um, Purple Heart uh, try to scan see a purple heart uh, in right out my front door and um, I took this cutting off of it I've had it in this little jar of water uh, this one also for a couple of months so you can see it's ready to be potted up and I'm also going to pot up these wandering Jew cuttings that I have they have some nice little roots there too. Um, I'm trying to get all of the, my little cuttings potted up because in about a month I'm going to be moving and I really don't want to move a bunch of plants that are in jars full of water. So these are um, the root systems are uh, well long, long enough for me to pot these up and these are going to go inside of a um, container that I have inside with a philodendron to kind of fill up the bottom area and I'll show you that here in just a moment. So hang tight. Okay, so here is the cuttings or here are the cuttings potted up. This is the hanger I was telling you about that hangs up against the wall. It's a flush against the wall. So I've been wanting to um, this plant to grow up but it was taking a little while and so I figured I'd just 
take some cuttings from the mother plant, some long ones, and root them and uh, style them this way. So the three cuttings, here's one. I've left the smallest one here to kind of trail down. And then the other two I've uh, potted up down there and secured all of them with these little, uh, these are actually off of some orchids that I used to have. They're little clips, little dragonfly clips off of some orchids that I used to have. So I've secured them to the macrame there so it'll help them uh, stay strong, and, you know, until they take root into the soil. And um, they should do really well here. I'm really happy with the way that this is looking so far. It's exactly what I wanted. So that I think they'll do just wonderful there. So let me show you where I planted the Tritoscantias. Okay, over here in front of my window, living room window, I had this philodendron that I rescued um, from Lowe's, I believe it was. I don't know the actual name of it, but it was in not too good a shape, but it's gotten better. It's unfurling some new leaves, you can see there. So it's, it's doing much better, but I had potted it up in this pot. It was the only one I had at the time, and I've been wanting to fill it in for some time. So I took the cuttings of the Wandering Jew. I had three of them. Put those all around, and then the one cutting of the Purple Heart there. And I've kind of placed them up onto the pot until they take root into the soil because um, I didn't want to want them dangling over and just too much pressure on them until they actually took root. So I think that'll um, fill in nicely there. And they have the same type of uh, watering requirements, so they'll do great here and fill that pot in. And they're right next to my other house plants that I have here, the corn stalk. And you guys remember my Chinese evergreen, red Siam. So I think it'll do great there. Well, that's the quick video for today, friends. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember that you can always get free plants when you propagate them. And water propagation is such an easy way of doing that. So definitely give it a try. Hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up for me. I appreciate it so much. Have a blessed day, friends.